Welcome YouTubers to another video of Making Memories with Michigan Mills. Today I've got uh, something I've been wanting to show you for a while. It's a Christmas gift I bought for myself because I was drowning in the van as some of you know. Um, I had way too much stuff. The, this van's a little smaller than my Sprinter and I had too much stuff in that van I couldn't I couldn't function and I was thinking about buying a tr cargo trailer and I thought that would help you know with storage and I could haul my four-wheeler and such and then I spotted this thing here on marketplace about a month ago and I said holy cow that is cool 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 and I said that that would be the answer to my dilemma uh, I didn't really want to haul a trailer this winter, and now I'm back hauling a trailer. But so be it. it uh, it's been a lifesaver. It's making my trip more enjoyable this winter. And uh, for, I guess I'll just get on with it, you know, and show you what it is. This here is the Bronco by Palomino. It's a Bronco. B600. Not sure what year it was made, but uh, it's a pop up truck camper and it's on a utility bed. It's got an awesome trailer front um, there where you can put your four wheeler. Got two awesome toolboxes and keep all my stuff, my tools, and things, extra things that I don't need in my way but need access access to and this is something i never had before and that, that's a a power jack um raises and lowers the trailer so you can hook up and unhitch i bought a hitch lock so be a little more difficult for somebody to just drive away with yeah, this is pretty sweet. It goes up and down. And uh, it's a lifesaver. Got a beautiful spare tire. I'm going to go around this way because of the sun. Got a brand new spare tire. It's got the nubs on it yet. So she's brand new. Um, this, this box is lockable. And keep all my tools in there, my tools, my chainsaw, and it's, that is just awesome. This guy made this to go to Alaska, and he did. He did go. He uh, says the Alaskan Highway right there, and he been down in the Bajas, down by Rocky Point and Chola Bay, Mexico. He, he's been all over with this thing, so it's road tested for sure. And it, it is quite the solid little unit. I'm very impressed with it. Got these little jacks here for stability. And uh, this thing's huge. It's two feet wide by five feet long and about 22 inches deep, I guess. This is where I've been putting my extra stuff uh, from the van. So my van's more comfortable. And this compartment here I have a collapsible rake that I picked up in quartzite last winter and it uh, helps me rake the rocks around so I'm not tripping on rocks I'm a, I'm a klutz pretty much so this little camp stove I found at my other campsite before I came here somebody left it it does work it's uh, got a butane cylinder and so I got to clean that up but Anyway, um, yeah, there's a little storage down in here. And I got some walking sticks in there. This is a little um, picnic blanket type thing. It rolls up with a strap. Got my battery there. Oh, I've got my hand right in the way. Ah, okay, well, that's how you learn. Learn from your mistakes. But anyway, yeah, it's dual axle. 6,000 pound axles, I'm told. I'm not sure because I'm not 
great and I'm not much of a mechanic but uh, they look beefy enough heavy duty the tires are in good shape the propane's over here easy access nice all these doors lock it's just cool and, uh, this Benny Jr.'s keeping an eye on things for me, you know, if I go away for a hike or something, he watches what's going on around here, keeps an eye on my stuff. Got my solar panels over there, and got my hummingbird feeder up finally today. I did try putting some grapes in this ocotillo, thinking maybe the hummingbirds would come to it, but they haven't showed up, so I put the hummingbird feeder out today. So yeah, this is the back of the of the trailer, and uh, all the lights work except the left blinker and brake light. And yes, brother Dave, I got a tester, and the seven pin thing has power to it where it's supposed to on on the van. So it's all underneath here somewhere in the connection. But I'll go on up. We'll go on inside. As you can see, this is Bronco 600. It's a B600. It's got a VIN number and everything. Um, yeah, I, I like the idea it was a Bronco because I went to school in Bark River Harris, and we were the Bark River Harris Broncos. So it's kind of neat having that. So this is a nice little, nice little camper. Got a sink. Um, you got running water, stove, real nice clean stove, it works. Um, little problem over here, they tore out the drawers, and right now I just have one big space here, and have got some of my extra food in there. They took out the fridge for some reason, and back there, you can see where the line is, I had to plug that line because when I turned the propane on, it was leaking out there. <laughs> so I got myself a plug for that. Tapered plug. And, uh, yeah. Um, nice big counter. Here I go, putting my finger in the way again. Nice big counter. This cup here. It's a Uperland Border Patrol. My friend Nakia gave me that cup. Yeah, thank you very much, Nakia. This is my little... Reminder of my oldest son that was in the service. I picked that up. He's been traveling around with me. And uh, just a good good reminder. I had a, had a son in the service. I closed the door. You got a nice nice screen on the top. You say just in here and look out. Look at this beautiful view keep the bugs out keep the flies out and then over here I'm not sure what was over here but this was tore out too but it does have a, a hanger so I got my shirts hung up in there I got a tote with more storage but yeah all the screens are in great shape um, these lights these lights work I got two lights uh, unfortunately I mean there's here's a cabinet up here uh, there was another cabinet on this side, but bringing it back in here, the, it fell off. So I took the light off the cabinet and mounted it on the ceiling. And uh, so far, so good. Yeah, it just kind of blew my mind because I thought, well, this guy took this to Alaska and down into the Baja, Mexico. And I take it my first trip back into kind of an off road situation and I lose my cabinet. <laughs> that's how it goes so nice nice size bed and uh it's real nice when you open up all the windows you get a good cross breeze got an exhaust fan here which is power and it works three speed and then this is a air conditioner so if you're plugged into shore power you have air conditioning and that works also. He showed he showed me it worked when they, I bought it. So basically that's the inside. Um, I do have a little furnace and that works. Works very nice. Not a lot of storage space in here. But with the cabinet or the the boxes on the front and such, 
it definitely helps out here I keep putting my finger in the thing oh well that's my video this window opens up nicely and then you can also pull the screen back so you can hand stuff outside back in if you want you know if you're in here and want to hand something to somebody out there not real comfortable um i took the the pedestal out the pedestal stand because with the table in here this table that's in in back there's like no room right here you got your, your butts up against the table i gotta figure out something different i've seen them ones where they mount in the corners and they swivel around and i think i may do that put a couple of those in here and there's a cigarette plug thing there 12 volt so yeah it's it's kind of interesting um even even got uh cable and phone jack which I thought was kind of neat. And that's the thermostat for the furnace. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I got, a, got it for a decent price. And hopefully it helped him out and helped me out. Because I needed something for space and he needed some money for Christmas. So on this side, there's another... You probably could put another um propane tank in here because there's a hole back there for a line that's where the fridge used to be so i'd like to get a i think i'd like to get a propane fridge because they're pretty efficient and then you don't have to worry about electric you know boondocking all the time like i am and there's my testers brother dave i bought a i bought two different types of testers this battery's really not the greatest shape but it's it's working um I throw it on a charger and it does okay for the night but it, it dies quickly and there's the power line for shore power and that and that plugs in right here and uh, this is the your phone and your phone and cable which is funny and then you water of course and beautiful old Bronco by Palomino I, I love it now this is used to be this is how you crank the crank the top up here there's a handle here it just removes and uh, crank the top up and down got my water jug sitting here but there was a he had a generator mounted there so i could do that too i really hate generators though i prefer solar but yeah this is the this is the palomino the bronco by palomino and uh, the um, spot here is a little over four feet wide by a little over six feet long. So it's plenty big for a four-wheeler. And uh, it's even got a rope. So you can tie your, tie your four-wheeler up, you know, hold it down so it don't fall off the trailer. Pretty sweet. So anyway, there I go, putting my finger in the way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this video or not, but <laughs> I may just do it. I, I'm not great at the editing and stuff, and I thought, well, I'll just do it and put it up. I've tried a couple times. I ran out of space once, and another time it was just too long. So I, I said, I'm going to do another one. So, yeah, it's the 16th of January. This is, this is my campsite here. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place, and it's quiet. I've... Uh, put out my game camera and I got pictures of Havelina and Bobcat and um, I seen some mule deer and uh, yeah just a lot of lizards and everything coming out because it's warm today I'm in my shorts and t-shirt and for the middle of January I can't complain that's for sure well I thank you for taking this little tour with me I can't think of anything else I'd like to say, but uh, the trailer does tow nicely. It tows straight, doesn't, no fish tailing or nothing. A um, lot of clearance, so I can definitely, probably with the right vehicle, I could take this off-road 
some serious places, I'm sure. So a little bit of farting around to do things, you know, of course, always something. But it's going to be a fun little project and something to mess with and learn about. And thanks for coming along with me and hope you, if you like this, you know, hit like, share, and, and um, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me along here on my journeys. So have a good day and thanks for being with me. Later.